Here we go, once again, I got a movement for us, a 2416B, that I believe, a Russian, fairly new, I don't know where I got this. Uh, yes, date complication, auto winder, this is the not so desirable printed dial, I honestly forget where I got this, and I don't even like it because of that dial, but I'm going to take it apart today. Um, we are going to leave everything in the case and we're going to remove that rotor. We're going to start right there. Got some music playing this time in the background. Sirius XM Jazz, real jazz. Big fan of jazz. Been listening to jazz for 25 years now. Nothing like jazz. Jazz and blues. Okay, off with the rotor. There we go. This one, I don't know if it's wound down or not. We're going to find out. Okay. Working on these, not knowing the terms of everything. Reminds me when I was a car mechanic. I worked at a Chevrolet Subaru dealer. I was their top tech for Subaru for seven years. And we had a slow day and I worked flat rate, so I needed to work. I had to get busy, so I went to the manager I said, give me something to work on or I'm leaving. Oh, I got a Chevrolet. Okay, bring it on. Police car with a blown transmission. Okay, what else is new? This guy's beat on those things. Not that they shouldn't. They're apprehending criminals. Supporter of my military and our police force. I was glad to take on the job. Well, wouldn't you know. One of the crybabies in the shop complained that a non-certified technician was servicing a Chevrolet transmission. I said, I don't give a rat's ass about your certifications. I can outwork you any day of the week on anything from American to Japanese to German cars. I don't need some certification. I know how they work. So anyway, I took this thing apart. Found a couple of broken parts, worn out parts. Went to the parts counter. I said, I need that. What's that? I don't know, but get it for me. Well, you don't know what it's called? It doesn't matter what it's called. I need it. Well, what if I told you that's the low reverse roller clutch support spring? Okay, well if that's it, get it. This guy was so annoyed I didn't know what the term of that part was. Needless to say, we got the parts ordered, I put that thing back together and it ran beautifully. And in the meantime, pissed off a few people. Ha <laughs> ha, too bad. All right, let's get that gasket out of there. Hopefully the music's not too loud. We're going to take the movement out now. We all know how to do that. Give it a flip, out it comes. Put the case aside. Let's put that winding stem back in. There we go. Okay. Looks like this thing's wound down. It's still ticking a bit because of the movement of the mainspring there. Let's line up some hands. That thing's going to tick on me, isn't it? Come on, you bugger. There we go. When I was a car mechanic, the one thing I was good at, pissing everybody off. 
I'd do timing belts on my lunch break. Work through lunch. Do a three and a half hour timing belt on a Subaru. In a half an hour. Get paid half. Work half an hour, get paid three and a half. Ain't that wonderful. Anybody who liked flat rate or knows flat rate knows what I mean. I loved it. Okay. There we go. I could do a Subaru clutch that paid six and a half hours in about an hour. Loved it. Now this movement is a 24 millimeter. The case is a rather, it's larger than the Cadet, so it's got this plastic spacer that's held in by screws. Very easy to take apart. I don't necessarily take both screws out. I take one off get it out of the way. The other one I leave on and just kind of pop it up like that. I'll put that screw back in just because we don't have to have it out anywhere. It's not something that gets dirty either or it needs servicing. So we'll leave it in there. We got a good focus on that? Yep. Alright, come on. If it's a little unorthodox, that's me. Now this one definitely has a cape, uh, ay, ay, ay. date complication. The nice thing is, it's not complicated at all. Simple. Very simple. Okay, we got that part. Let's get this dial off. I'll try to speed things up here because a lot of this is redundant. Not until we get into a Slava will things change a bit, or a pull yacht, which I plan to do, especially a 22428 two, uh, day date function Slava. I got one of them that's been sitting around and I haven't had a chance to work on it because I wanted to wait till now. Okay, screws are loose. Oh, yeah, I got a screw loose. You got that right. I got several screws loose. As my wife will tell you. Now, sometimes these can be a bugger. You loosen up those screws and you still got nothing moving. And you got a date ring under there that you don't want to damage. So you got to kind of. You can see that date ring right there. Let me point it out. There's the date ring. So I don't want to just jam a screwdriver in there and force it. I just want to finesse things little by little. I don't know why these are tighter. They seem to be tighter on modern Russian movements than the Soviet. Those just seem to come apart so nice. don't know why. But I've had a bugger of a time with some of these. Very. It's not looking good. Okay. Patience. Don't kill it. We like to take our time. I can get it tight. Maybe it lead up this way. Wow, we. Yeah. This can be a frustrating part too, servicing these. Sometimes you gotta get underneath the date ring. Come on. Without using a date ring a little bit, but not too much. Don't kill it. Alright. It's being a mule. But I think it's coming. We're slowly walking that out. Let's get under the date ring just a bit. Who knows why this happens? Okay. What we gotta give. 
like I said, not everything goes as smoothly as you'd like. There's an old saying, if it's man-made, it'll give you trouble. Or, if it's man-made, it's prone to failure. How's that? Look at that. Oh, that took way too long. Dial feet look okay. So we're not going to worry too much about it now. We got it off. Going on will be a heck of a lot easier. There's that printed dial. Not so... Not so glamorous, is it? No. No, it's not. Okay. Let's get this into a movement holder. Here's our complicated date ring complication, date complication. Let's focus in on that. There you go. Okay. Here's your date ring. This has a spring that pivots on a little hammer. You can see it just barely at the 19 that engages those teeth. This little winder comes around and it pops this around as the time goes by. So we have three screws, very tiny. One here, one here, one there. Very similar to the keyless work screws. Um, so we're going to take those off. The nice thing with this complication, you don't have to worry about springs flying everywhere. If you ease up on taking that plate off. What's that plate called? I don't know. Call it what you want. And if anybody's worrying that they don't work on a floor that's smooth and flat and easy to find small parts. I am literally working four or five inches away from the edge of this bench in my living room carpeted. So take that last screw out. I like to take that last one in the middle and hold on to that plate. and it'll keep that spring from flying out. Sometimes it doesn't. Once that's released, you're usually good to go. Let's spin that around. Okay, that spring's directly in front of us at the 22 to 20 to 19 number. And once it's released, it just kind of lays there like, hey, here I am. There you go. How's that for simple? Too simple. Okay, here's the, the spring, and that spring is nice because that goes in after we put that plate on. Date ring comes right off, nice. Here's that little spring I was telling you about. This little, I don't know what that's called. Looks like a hammer. Pivots, pivots on that little guy there. Maybe we'll just call it the hammer. I don't care. Now from this point on, we have your basic keyless works. But on top of that, we have an additional system over here. Coming off the minute wheel, we have a gear that drives this gear that's going to click our date over. So there's the minute wheel. This little guy is a two-part gear. Well, two sections. There's smaller gear underneath. You can see that. That's coming off. That one's screwed in with a shouldered bolt. Um, we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's get keyless works apart. 
Would it be something if we find a missing spring? Key, this works. Working good. I may or may not do a complete service on this, only because I don't think it needs it. And from here on, it's very similar to the 2409. We can just do an assembly back in with the decomplication and the auto winder. But I do want to get a look under this plate. Because if we got another missing spring, that'd be something. And there it is. Our spring is there. Looks like it's about to take off though. But that's okay. Um, This movement, the rest of the way, is very similar to everything else we've done. Um, the drivetrain, the gear train, the winding mechanism, the balance, pallet fork, it's all identical. The only difference is our uh, auto winder and day complication. So, since this is new, I'm not going to continue here any further. We are going to make our next one showing how to put everything back together and time that date complication. So hang on, I'll be doing another.